of social justice teaching in the Catholic Church run deep. We find in both the Old and New Testaments the scriptural foundations for social justice, as well as centuries of teachings through the magisterium and official proclamations of the Church. In these foundations, we can see that the Church has always stood for charity and justice. Scripture gives us many examples of the call of the people of God to protect the weak, care for those who are alone or strangers, help the poor, and give a voice to the voiceless in society, all as a part of our relationship with God. When asked what the greatest commandment is, Jesus replied, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. In this one phrase, Jesus captured the essence of the call of the prophets of the Old Testament, like Isaiah and Amos, who called the Israelites to live their love of God through their actions, and shows the depth of meaning in the Ten Commandments. In this greatest commandment, Jesus sets the stage for the challenge of the Beatitudes and the call in the Sermon on the Mount to go beyond the letter of the law and choose to fully love one another as an expression of our love of God. Scripture tells us that the early church tried to live this out in very specific ways. In the Acts of the Apostles, we hear that in the early community of Christians, everything was owned in common, shared among the community, and that no one was in need. As the community grew and had different types of needs, New ministries were identified and authorized to care for the widows, orphans, and distribution of food. This way of thinking about caring for all of the community is why today our church continues to have special collections for those in need, tithing to support ministries of the church and charities that focus on special needs of the community. The work of the church in all areas of social concern flow from these teachings of scripture and the life of the church. The social concern of the church is an expression of the real love for the poor and that flows from those who love the Lord and want to live as he taught. We are all called as disciples to have a preferential love for the poor. That is, those who are poor are supposed to hold a primary place in our process of discerning the right course of action. When we think of the actions required of us as disciples, we can look to the teaching of the church on the corporal and spiritual works of mercy as our guide. The works of mercy, both corporal and spiritual, are charitable actions by which we come to the aid of our neighbor. This could be a need for instruction, advice, consolation, or comfort for our neighbor, or forgiving and bearing wrongs patiently when dealing with our neighbor all of which are the spiritual works of mercy. It could also mean more concrete actions, such as feeding the hungry, sheltering the homeless, clothing the naked, visiting the sick or imprisoned, and burying the dead. These are called the corporal works of mercy. There are other guides that we can turn to as we try to think about how we can promote the many forms of charity and the different types of justice. Many of our popes have written on different aspects of social justice in encyclicals. We also have important teachings on justice in the documents of the Second Vatican Council and the Catechism of the Catholic Church, plus the writings of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, all of which give us principles to guide us in our specific decisions. As we explore these different foundations of Catholic social teaching, we should try to keep in mind the examples in our own lives of when we have been called to stand for the poor, act in charity or love for our neighbor.